Here we are this week at Stonemarsh Church. It's a wonderful church and it looks particularly marvellous in the lovely winter sun that we've got this afternoon. Now, I expect lots of you really, really like maths and like counting. And I'm wondering how many of you can count up to 40, you know, 40, 4 times 10. And uh, let's see if you can. And let's imagine that you were born on Christmas Day. And let's see where 40 days later gets us to. So Christmas Day is December the 25th, that's right. So 25th is 1, 26 is 2, 27th is 3, 28th is 4, all the way through the end of December, right the way through January, and there's still a few more left. And so then you get into February, February the 1st is 39, February the 2nd is 40. If you don't believe me, try it out later in your classroom or at home. 40 days from Christmas Day gets to February the 2nd. 40 days. And 40 days isn't all that long if you think about it. How many weeks is that? Well, more maths. 40 divided by 7, 7 days in a week, well, 5, 7 to 35, 35, and then there's, ooh, 5 left over. So it's 5 weeks and 5 days. That's nothing, is it? 5 weeks and 5 days. How many of you have got a baby brother or a baby sister? Perhaps one of each. Uh, who knows? But well, if you think of how little a baby is, only 5 weeks old, not yet 2 months, titchy, titchy little thing. Well, if you were only five months and five days old, you'd be really, really small. Today, we're remembering an event that took place in the life of Jesus, when he was still a baby, still 40 days old. That's why we remember it on the 2nd of February every year. He'd been born, remember, where was he born? Bethlehem, that's right, born in Bethlehem. And so 40 days later, uh, Mary and Joseph followed out what was God's law in those days, and they took baby Jesus to the temple at Jerusalem. It's a bit like us going from where we live to Canterbury. It's about sort of, not even, not similar distance actually, going to Canterbury, then going to the cathedral to offer this new baby, this wonderful new firstborn son of theirs, to offer him to God and to give thanks. And it's a remarkable day. I always love it when it comes around every year. It's called the, it's, we call it the Feast of Candlemas. The Feast of Candlemas. And when they got to the temple, and presenting their baby, as it were, to God, something very strange happened. There were two very, very old people there. People who went to the temple every day and said their prayers and praised God and loved being in the house of God. And one of them, Simeon, he was called. Simeon had been told by God that he'd be, he would not die until he saw the Messiah, the Saviour, the one who's going to uh, bring God's glory to the world. And as soon as he saw this tiny baby Jesus, he knew this was the one. So he took the baby in his arms and praised God. And he said these very important words. This is why it's called Candlemas. He said, this baby is going to be a light to bring light to the world. So it's a great festival of light. It's gloriously sunny today, but we're still in the depths of winter, aren't we? Gosh, it was cold last night and cold this morning. I expect you can see my breath. It's pretty cold here in church, I can tell you. But we believe that God sends Jesus. God is Jesus, of course. And he is the light of the world. How the dark, the darkness, and it's very dark at the moment with COVID, so many people being ill, so many people being sick, so many people in hospital, and all the rest of it. It's a dark time. But God brings his light. And the light is stronger than the darkness. And so on this festival, the Feast of Candlemas, it's called Candlemas, because by very, very, very long tradition, what Christians did was to bless the candles they were going to use in church for the rest of the year. And we're going to light a candle now to remember that Jesus is the light of the world. It takes a little while to light.
that Jesus is the light of the world. And that the light of God's love will overcome all the darkness of this world. Thanks be to God. Amen.